Hey everyone, welcome back. We are in the kitchen again. I have all three kids and we are restocking. So no more grocery store. We have plenty to cook. I'm excited. We're doing the typical roundup of bread, deviled eggs, and some cookies. So I will show you the end result because last week I showed you how to do that. But if you want those recipes, let me know. I love you too. Let me know and I can, bless you, type them out in the description. And I'm gonna show you some more recipes that we have been using just to use up what we have in our pantry. We of course, are restocking which is what is important and I might be able to show you that in today's video but I did want to just take you into the kitchen again so if you are new here hi hello my name is Tori we make preparedness videos on a budget we like to show you how to do that so without further ado let's get into the video I hope you subscribe like this video if you enjoyed it and let's get into these recipes all right out in the garage now i am just grabbing some peas and pineapple for what am i doing oh i'm gonna do a fried rice of sorts but i always get these organic uh vegetables when I have a chance under $10 and I usually just get broccoli and pea. Sometimes I get the corn, but they're nice and easy to just grab and go from. My hands are clean. Don't you worry. But I will say the broccoli is nice because they come in little packs. So I always have to come out here with a mug and just scoop some out whenever I need to cook. I was debating on whether I wanted to add this pork, but I don't think I'm going to because I just want to make this a meatless meal. That way it could be a side dish or whatever. We could use the meat for something different. Okay, I have a baby down, so I'm trying to just be a little quieter. I'm going to make a tuna pasta salad, and this is what I have on hand. I just have this giant thing of tuna, and then I have red lentil rotini. I only have a little bit left, but we're going to use it up. And then we have gluten-free spaghetti, so we are going to just make them into little pieces here and cook them. We are going to add some olives, an onion, and maybe some peas, mayo, mustard, and call it good. You gotta go quick the baby's stirring so i just have the pastas in there and i'm gonna put the peas in there because not lazy i'm efficient right all right so that's going in there going to get baby and then moving on okay dishes piling up and chaos is happening so clean as you go i should eat my own words up because it gives me major anxiety when i do that but the pasta salad is ready so we have peas we have the rotini and then we have the corn pasta i don't know just trying to use it up we're going to use half of this onion maybe a fourth and then i diced up some olive and then i also have the tuna so i just drain that oh gosh that's going to go right in there metal and all who cares about heavy metals huh yeah. anyways um <laughs> you just put that in there and then i'm going to grab some mayo mustard and then a dash of worcestershire and a little bit of salt and pepper and we will be good to go Okay, in here we have about a tablespoon or two of mustard. We have seasoned salt. We have the Worcestershire, about two tablespoons of mayo, and then I just had some random sour cream to use up, so I'm not going to let it go to waste. I just wanted to get it going. I'm going to give it a stir, put it in the refrigerator, and move on to my next meal. Okay, I'm going to stir this in chat. You've reached the talking point of the video where I talk to you about real life thoughts, but we, we do pantry challenges often on the channel and I usually like to say you know we call this a challenge be because we are challenging ourselves to use what we have on hand and I understand that there is food insecurity out there so people might see this video might see that title and they might get a little frustrated that it looks to them like we're playing a game out of this and I, I promise you we're not I I'm pretty honest and open about our uh, like financial journey. I never really tell you numbers, but I, you know, have a master's in education, so my salary as a teacher wasn't that awful. I worked in a very large, uh, popular district in Colorado, and I was fortunate enough to have the salary that I have. But in all honesty, it just wasn't fulfilling me in the proper way, and we wouldn't have been able to afford daycare and I think that's the reality of us all you know there's a lot of moms out there and dads that just want to stay home with their families and it's really hard to do that so when I started staying home you know there were a lot of things that we had to focus on and since we are a growing family here we are purchasing a lot of food throughout the week so i feel like my husband and i were brought up pretty frugal on each side we were you know taught to save and we worked hard and we still do so 
these pantry challenges are just that for us. We are trying not to spend any money because we honestly don't have it to spend on you know, just groceries and we love food. I love cooking for you here on the channel, but the reality is food is expensive. Someone commented the other day and said that the economy is the best it's ever been. And I, I could not disagree with that more. I don't understand where people are coming from when they say that. I feel like if you were middle class to upper class, you're still kind of struggling at this point. I can't speak for everyone, but it has been a hard couple of years and it's not like it was. I can't just stay home and be with the kids. I have to do something extra, you know? So whether that be sharing a YouTube video with you or maybe being an affiliate for a product or just saving money at the grocery store by cooking from the pantry, there are many ways to, I guess, create an income from home so I hope these are encouraging and of course I always say in these videos if you are experiencing food insecurity definitely call your local 211 they are there to help you I have had a couple of people reach out saying that they have been unsuccessful with churches food pantries and 211 and I'm so sorry that's happening to you I I'm not sure you know how truthful that is because I I have called 211 before and they were very, very helpful. They are not intrusive. They don't make you feel bad or embarrassed. So not really sure what area you're in, but there's food and help out there. I promise you that. And if you have to make a sacrifice in your life, you might just have to do that. Again, I can't speak for everyone. And I would like to say you see tiny glimpses of my life. So you never know a person's situation by what they wear or where they live or anything like that. Um, I just want everyone to remember that when they're looking at these pantry challenges because you're never gonna know someone's full truthful story. So yeah, gonna get off my soapbox, but I did wanna just talk about that before anyone you know, got offended by seeing that title. So here's the pasta salad. It looks amazing. These will be great for quick lunches for the kids and I. I can serve it over spinach and bulk it up. You could even serve it with a side of potatoes and really bulk it up and make it like a potato pasta salad, but possibilities are endless and this is really delicious. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna move on to our fried quinoa. Okay, kids are wrestling behind me, but we do have a lot going into this next dish, but I have a lot to use up, so it's going to be okay. We have carrots, we have onion, we have pineapple, we have rice, cauliflower, we have peas, a baby crying, she's with my husband, she's okay, uh, butter blends, chive and onion, Kerrygold butter. This was frozen, I got it from Esh's a while back, so I'm going to fry that up, and then I also have... Oh goodness, some sausage with green onions and I only have these three soy packets. So, okay. so yes, uh, we are just gonna work with this. I also have the sweet and spicy teriyaki, but we're gonna put that on the side with some organic quinoa and brown rice on the side. I feel like if I make a bunch of food here, I can freeze some of it. So that is what's going on. It's all gonna go into my frying pan over here. And then I'm gonna save half of this rice cauliflower as well. Let's see if I can get this clip without any screaming, but it is coming along quite nicely. I think I'm going to take the other half of the cauliflower, the rice cauliflower, and make California mashers. My mom used to make it. It's just like milk, butter, Parmesan, or cheddar cheese, and it's just a nice little cheesy side dish, but it's pretty delicious. If you are plant-based, you could also make some sort of alfredo sauce with that so you just need some almond milk and you blend that all up maybe some nutritional yeast i don't like that but that's a good thing to have on your pepper pantry shelf because it is a good source of a few vitamins that we need so yes you could do that with your rice cauliflower but here's how it's coming gonna add the sausage then my tiny three packets of soy sauce and we're gonna go from there well it smells delicious and the butter you know it's an herb butter i wouldn't necessarily put it moving around uh put it on a typical stir fry but i feel like with these challenges uh i had to be able to open my mind to different flavors would i typically put sausage in a stir fry no but that's what we have on hand and i know in my heart that my husband wanted a little bit of protein uh meat wise for his meal so we are going to use it for the fried rice but it's not necessary if you did want to bulk this up in some way, we uh, could use broccoli 
or you could use, you know, just about anything. Potatoes even have protein in it, a small amount, but it's there. I'm gonna put some spinach in here, but I guess the moral of this story, the moral of why I'm jumping on here is because you just need to have an open mind to flavor. There is no rule book when it comes to the kitchen. I understand that certain foods complement each other, but when you're cooking on a budget like this and this is gonna be your meal, just try and make it a little bit more exciting. I don't know if you have kids maybe put some candles on the dining table definitely just keep them entertained and fun that's what we try and do sometimes I make little shapes out of their food or make little scenes like a dinosaur in a volcano I don't know but you know at the end of the day you're gonna be fed you are going to be nourished and that's really what's important so I was talking about it in the last video about providing the bare minimum and a lot of people will say what's fed is fed you know as long as you're trying your best and i used to say that but there are a lot of things that you could be doing to just prepare better meals i'm going to use this example i know some of you have seen this uh there was somebody on the internet and she chose to give i think like six mini chocolate donut holes for breakfast to her child and her content is filled with that and she was getting a lot of shame which is unfortunate but I feel like there were comments in there trying to give her a polite wake up call those donuts you know they cost over five dollars okay so what I was saying before I got cut off there was a carton of eggs you know it it depends it varies but it's going to cost a lot less than that processed food and if you just take that extra five minutes to fry up an egg i promise you your child will be more nourished and i promise you that their behavior might change as a teacher and a mom of three uh i can tell you that food affects behavior it affects mindset it affects so many things along with sleep and just having some love in your home but i i felt bad for her for getting all of that you know hate but there are some things that you perhaps uh, should not normalize on good job the internet and that's one of them because as much as I feel bad for her there are there are other ways you know there are other ways to feed your family and I think it's really important to just m start making that normal you know <laughs> because it's important these little ones need to thrive and you are their protectors. So I feel like um, creating something nourishing that's going to take five minutes out of your day, that's going to be cheaper for you is really important. Mama, she said it, yay. Under the counter I'm rolling out my bread when I do my second rise I roll it out and then roll it like sandwich bread uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that so nothing revolutionary but I was thinking about it I don't want to use my channel to shame anyone you know I I don't agree with what's fed is fed my kids aren't perfect and I am not a perfect mom we still eat junk and processed food here and there but if you're gonna start anything out in your day breakfast is a really good one to just start with some nourishment so I encourage you not to reach for those donuts and to perhaps reach for something more protein rich and I know I'm gonna get my kids don't like this yes my, my kids don't like everything either but you just gotta you gotta try you gotta at least try maybe serve it to them in a different way but here's my bread all cute and it's gonna go right in here I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil down and then I will let it rise for another 20 minutes or so and you will see it gets really big all right that stir fry is done i just wanted to show you how i was serving it for the kids we have the actual stir fry on the side and then we have rice and the quinoa blend and then we just have some cucumbers so very easy and just very easy to bulk up because we still have quite a bit of food left here and we have quite a bit of the 
sneaky cucumber taker, huh? Uh, quite a bit of the organic quinoa and brown rice. So very exciting. Things are coming along. Just got to put the bread in and we should be good to go on our meal prep for the week. All right, my friends, this is what we got meal prepped. I'm pretty proud of us. I think we got a lot done in a short amount of time. So we have a nice little pasta salad with tuna, peas, there's olives, onions, just random stuff in there. And that will be good for some lunches. My kids and I both like string cheese, but sometimes it's pricey. So I just take a big block cheese when they're on sale and I buy a bunch of them, throw some in the freezer. So this was thawing out and this is just Colby cheese and I just uh, put it in little squares for them and they like to grab and go from there so that's really easy to just have a quick protein and a piece of fruit and like a piece of beef jerky or a beef stick and they're good to go and then over here we have what's left of the fried rice i was kind of hoping this would last us a couple of dinners but everyone really enjoyed it so that is okay i'm happy everyone liked it but we have something for my husband's lunch tomorrow which is important i like to stay a day ahead on that kind of thing just so he can easily grab and go if he has time to heat up his food which is not always the case but he can eat it later and then we have cookies so we did the regular chocolate chip batch of cookies so we have four of those left but with this batch I just put in some extra flour just so we no I put in some extra oats just so we could save on a little bit of flour so we could make some bread so these are the cookies for the week I probably make them twice a week though honestly and then we have a loaf of bread for the next couple of days that's still cooling I like it to cool a little bit before I cut into it I find that it works the best so makes this little roll here and I always put these in just for decoration and it's just regular white sandwich bread it's not sourdough or anything and then here are the deviled eggs that's how they turned out super easy to grab and go the kids really like them the baby really likes them and again easy to do with cheese or beef sticks and then these are my little uh, lactation cookies I guess you can call it so there's things to to promote um, good milk uh, for the baby if you're breastfeeding. So I don't know why I stumbled on that. We have dark chocolate in there. We have peanut butter or almond butter. We have oats. We have cinnamon, a little bit of brewer's yeast, sea salt, and I believe, oh, a little bit of honey. So I'm excited. They always turn out really tasty and it's a nice little treat at the end of the night without too much sugar. So yes, I'm excited. We did really good. Let me get you turned around so I can say goodbye. And again, let me know if you want any of these recipes recipes. Okay, everyone is hopefully sleeping at this point. All the food is put away. I just wanted to close out our little kitchen refresh or pantry challenge, whatever you want to call it, I'm cool with, but I think I'm going to start doing these weekly. I know a lot of you did enjoy this and I hope that's okay. So stay tuned for more. Let me know what you want to see down in the comments below. If you're new, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button. If you need any recipes, just let me know in the comments and I can type it out for you. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye y'all.